Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial. In this video, I will talk about signal representation. As I said last session, signal is something that includes information. Now, we need a meaningful way to present this information. Let's start with one dimensional signal, such as voice. The most common way to present this signal is value versus time. In fact, each point can be identified by a unique time, such as T0 or T1. Let's go to two dimensional signal, such as image. In an image, each point is uniquely identified by two components, X and Y. So if X and Y are given, I know exactly which point you are talking about. Finally, let's go to three dimensional signal, such as video. A video includes several images or frames one after another. In a video, each point is uniquely identified by three components, X, Y, and T. T basically represents time or frame number. In this course, we just work with one dimensional signal in time domain. So let me write it down. One dimensional signal in time domain. Now, signal in time domain can be continuous or discrete. Continuous signal is defined for all time. Basically, continuous signal is defined everywhere. On the other hand, discrete signal is just defined for some specified moments. In fact, the signal is not defined for the time in between samples. Please note that the signal in between is not zero, but it's not defined. In this course, we just work with continuous signals. Let me write it down again because that's the kind of signal we work with for the rest of this course. One dimensional signal in continuous time domain. This signal is usually represented by xt, value versus time. Here is one example. And here is another example. Okay, that's the end of this session. In the next tutorial, I will talk about different transformations that you can apply to a signal. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and see you guys in the next video.